once children are past the age of five, school is essential um, in terms of their development. Most people have heard the saying, it takes a village to raise a child, and what they tend to think of um, with that is that, you know, parents need a lot of help, which is what it assumes. But it doesn't really mean that. Uh, what it means is that the, the child's psychological growth and their growth as a human being is dependent on complex social interactions, which you just can't get in a family setting. It doesn't matter how fantastic your family is. The minimum viable grouping of humans to make a, a viable social human is three distinct families, which of course we don't get in our culture except via things like organized schools. So they get this psychological growth, uh, which is absolutely essential for them um, through going to school. What tends to happen is these sort of uh, problems around neglect and delayed development. And these are the big issues, um, particularly with children, um, particularly going through the current situation. Um, uh, one of the issues is that they're not developing and not allowing, uh, we're not allowing them to um, use their social networks naturally to process some of the anxieties that they do have. Children tend on the whole to protect their parents um, from their fears. This is what tends to happen. Um, and they will talk to their um, peers and they'll talk to their teachers and they'll talk to other people about these things um, more comfortably in, in some ways. So that's an issue. Um, that children are not um, sort of engaging and sharing their fears appropriately because they're afraid of the consequences within the family. They don't want to hurt the parents or upset them, etc., etc. And also children are egocentric and they tend to blame themselves. Um, so they're afraid of speaking out, uh, whereas they'll talk to somebody outside of the family um, uh, much more naturally. When I'm working with families, one of the things I talk about is the need, particularly at, you know, say teenage years and adolescent years, um, is the need to develop um, contacts outside the family that your kids can go to that um, are far enough away from the family so that your child feels um, that they can talk in confidence to them but closely enough connected to the family so that you know that if there's a real problem they'll tell you well, what is that that's a teacher right children in very difficult circumstances like say a war zone and you have UNICEF, um, the United Nations uh, Children's Fund, go in and set up services. You know, one of the first things they'll do is set up the schools because it has such a protective factor on children uh, who are in very, very difficult circumstances. And that's what schools do. Um, schools reawaken in children that what are called attachment processes. And in children that are in difficult circumstances, maybe difficult family circumstances or difficult social circumstances. Schools are the place where a lot of those difficulties get repaired.